Hello, it's your friendly neighborhood lunatic here. I hope that you don't mind that I just went ahead and covered my eyebrows and prepped everything for the pop art zombie that we're gonna do today. Honestly, I just went ahead and did it because it saves a lot of time and I haven't covered my eyebrows in I don't know how long, so I wasn't even sure if I was gonna be able to do it today. Welcome to another edition of how many versions of the same pop art zombie can I do? If you're new to this channel, my name is Shelly and welcome. Every year on Halloween, I like to do a 13 day countdown to Halloween and today is day numero uno, which means there are 13 days until Halloween. The past couple of years, I've been starting it off with a pop art zombie, so I'm gonna do that again. I do have a tank top on, but I'm gonna put the straps down because I'm going to be painting my shoulders and everything. I haven't done a body painting since February. This is the last one that I did. And ironically, it was another zombie. It was like a Valentine's Day zombie thing. <laughs> Prepping includes washing your face, moisturizing, making sure your skin is okay. Go ahead and enter my giveaway every year on Halloween. I like to do a giveaway just to kind of give back to you guys because I'm so grateful for the support. I have gathered a few things just over the last couple months. All of the details are on my Instagram. I'm going to announce the winner on Halloween, so the last day to enter is the 30th. Today's zombie, since I've already done a yellow zombie, and a blue zombie. I wanted to do a purple zombie and I was just scrolling through and her name is Kim of Makeup. She did a purple zombie and I am living for it. I'm going to be taking inspiration from her but I think I'm also gonna add a couple of things just winging it. <laughs> So hopefully it turns out okay. So if you are wanting to try and be a pop art zombie this year for Halloween or whatever year, then go ahead and keep on watching. Or if you're just interested in how it happens, then keep on watching. First things first, I'm going to take my Wet n Wild cream liner. I don't know if it's an eyeliner. I think it's just like a cream paint stick. What am I doing? Okay, so first I need to finish covering up these eyebrows really quick. I didn't want to start the video with them completely covered because I didn't want to absolutely terrify you. No, we can't scare people away. Okay, so with any look like this, <laughs> I look like a child. Childs cry. Childs. Childs. Children cry a lot, right? I don't know. First thing that you want to do whenever you're doing a work like this, a work like this, first thing you want to do whenever you're doing a look like this is, of course, prep and block out your brows and all of that fancy stuff. Want to take like a cream stick and it's white so you can easily go over it but I like to use this like block out all of the areas that I'm going to be painting I have like three different mirrors so if you see my eyes going in like a circle that's why it's just because I can't figure out where to look I kind of want to make it look like there's an eyeball popping out of my head okay so I'm kind of following like my eye socket because I want to completely like black out most of this area because I do want one of my eyes to be like falling down. So I think that's the area that I'm gonna do it in and then we'll have, we'll have the eyeball. Now we always want to do something with the mouth. This does not have to be perfect at all and because it's cream, like you can literally wipe it away so if you put an outline somewhere and you decide you don't like it very much then you can literally just wipe it off sorry that you can't see my chest but I will show you at the end what it looks like. Okay, so now that I have where I'm going to have different colors basically, like right here I want a little bit of brain, so that's gonna be a different color than the skin. Right here I wanna do like a little rip, 
so that's going to be a different color. I'm basically blocking out all of the different areas and then now I'm going to go in and color block. So I'm just going to do each color. We don't have to worry about details at this point in time at all. Just pick your colors and then fill in all of the different areas. For my different colors, I'm going to be using the Mayron Paradise Paints palette. This is the water activated one. I 100% recommend this palette to anyone who is wanting to start out in this type of makeup. Since it's water activated paints, I have my paint jar here. And for my brush, I'm just going to be using a Morphe M224. You don't have to worry about this paint like not coming off your brushes. It's water activated, so you can literally just wash it out or rinse it out or whatever. I'm going to be using this lighter purple up here for all of the skin portion, and I'm just going to go ahead and fill all of that in. Now I'm going in with the white from that same palette and I'm color blocking all of the parts that are going to be white. You can see I've already done my chest and now I'm going to do my face. I've done this part where there's going to be teeth. And this side of the teeth I want them to be more specific. They don't have to be perfect, they can be really messy because we're gonna go back in and outline everything anyways. Next, I'm gonna use this light pink from this Mayron palette to fill in all of the parts that I wanna be pink. <laughs> Whenever you're doing a look like this, remember to try and do the lightest color first because it's a lot easier to go around the light parts than it is to add light parts on top of something that's already dark. Actually, I think I'm going to use the darker pink that's right next to that other pink in the palette. I think I like the darker pink just a little bit better. I know that I'm going to do the bottom part of this eye pink and then black out the top part. And don't judge my hair you guys, yesterday was hair washing day. But I was like, if I'm going to be doing a body painting, I don't want to go ahead and wash my hair because I am not a person who can wash their hair every day. If I do wash my hair every day, it dries it out. So that's why my hair is a straight mess. Okay, now that I have everything fully color blocked, and now that I'm looking absolutely insane, I'm gonna use just this Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow primer because on this side, I want to do some eyeshadow. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my finger. And I don't wanna go too far up because I don't want it to interfere with the purple. For my eyeshadows, I'm going to go in with my James Charles and Morphe palette. Just going to start with a deep purple and kind of pat that in my crease because I want to stick with the purples. So 
So this is the shape that I want the eye look to be in. So from here, I'm just gonna blend that out. When you cover your eyebrows, keep in mind that you want to be as gentle as possible when you're going over your covered eyebrows because you don't want to disturb the hairs too much because if you do, they will start popping up. And I'm going to take a flatter brush and pick up the purple shimmer that's in this palette. I don't know any of the names of any of the shades. I apologize. But I'm just going to add that onto my lid. And it absolutely doesn't have to be perfect. It's a zombie, guys. Zombies aren't going to have perfect makeup. <laughs> so don't stress yourself out too much. Now for this eye, I'm going to take a little bit of a black eyeshadow just to kind of set this and make it more matte. And this will also help with creasing that's going to be happening right in the eyelid. And on the more glam side, I'm going to use my Stila Felt Tip Eyeliner and add a big ol' wing. And since I'm only doing one eye, I don't have to worry about making them even. Actually, before I put on an eyelash, I'm going to go ahead and shade everything. So I'm going to take the same purple that I was using before and shade around just on the purple parts, but I'm just going to shade just outside of everything on all of the curves. So to do this, we want to just put a line of shadow, but leave a little space and then start blending it out away from whatever you're shadowing next to. So whatever color you're shading on top of, you use that corresponding color to shade. Kind of want it to look like the face is sunken in a little bit, so I'm going to shade out little parts of the temple. It helps a lot if you have a mirror that's kind of close up and you also have a mirror that's far away so that you can see what it looks like up close and you can also see what it looks like from far away. A lot of things look different far away than they do close up. You get what I'm saying. So I have a mirror that's closer and then I also have something that I can look at that's further away. This purple is also my contour shade. So I'm going to use it to contour my cheekbones like I would my regular makeup. I'm going to finish off shading all of the purple and I will be right back. Real quickly, I just popped on a lash from, I got this on Amazon. It's just a lash kit, they're faux mink. And I will have them linked down below, but I just, threw one of those on and I also did the bottom part already so I have all of the shading and everything done on my chest. I'm going to go in with my James Charles palette and I'm going to use this darker pink color and I'm using this on the pink portions. And I'm just going to do some random like swirly shapes because it's supposed to be a brain. And since this part is around the teeth, we're going to take this darker color around the base of the teeth and then kind of just blend it up between the teeth so that it just kind of fades out. Now I'm just going to add a little tiny bit of black eyeshadow to deepen up a few places. Now 
now that I think I have pretty much all of the shading done, I'm going to go back into my Mayron palette and use the black to outline. I'm just going to use a Morphe M250-1 and outline every little thing. Also part of outlining, we have to add on our eyebrow. Can't forget to add our nose. Now I'm just going to go in and add some more little detail lines. Just adds a little bit more, makes it look even more like a drawing. Slip on some of the red from that Mayron palette as my lips. Now I'm going to go ahead and outline those in black as well. Now this is the absolute best part in any type of look like this. Highlights. I'm going to start using my NYX white liquid liner and add highlights everywhere. I'm going to do is use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Moon Child Highlight Palette. And I'm going to use this color right here, which is called Purple Horseshoe. I'm going to just take a brush and put this where I would usually put highlight because she's a pretty zombie. She's a glam zombie. Now I don't have a wig because I am not good at putting on wigs, so you're just going to have to imagine a different hair color if that's what you want. So this is how this year's pop art zombie turned out. I didn't do my ears, sorry. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that I gave you a good idea on how to do a pop art zombie, at least giving you somewhere to start if this is what you are wanting to do. Just remember, be patient with yourself, take your time. I don't know why I felt like putting my hair up, but there we go. So yeah, this is day one of my 13 day countdown to Halloween, Shalloween, or if we want to call it that. Anyway, Anyways, this kicks off our countdown and I hope that you enjoyed. If you only watch my true crime videos, remember that I will, that that is what tomorrow's video is, so you'll have to wait and see who it's about. I will see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget, before you leave, give this video a thumbs up because I like it when you like it and hit the button down below to subscribe, become a part of 
this tribe. Here we like to look beautiful and we also like to talk about serial killers. So if you enjoy both of those things or either one of those things, then stick around. You might you might enjoy yourself. Anyways, should I do the whole thing with this eye closed? That's really hard. I'm gonna try. You can follow me on all my social medias. It is just Shelly G M U A on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. This is too hard with one eye. I cannot do that. <laughs> Anyways, it's just Shelly G M U A. If you want to see pictures without having to hear me talk, I completely understand. Go to Instagram for that. I hope that you stick around for the rest of Shelleline. Don't forget to enter my giveaway if you haven't already. You have to be subscribed to me. Follow me on Instagram. And also share the giveaway post on your story and tag me on your story. That is it. I hope that you have an amazing day. I hope that you have an amazing spooky season. Stay safe out there and stay spooky. God bless. Love you. Bye.